Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. If you are joining the stream, welcome, welcome, welcome. So yeah, we're going to be streaming. Um, be streaming some Vermintide, and just going to be chilling a little bit. So yeah, if you want to come and say hello, you are more than welcome to come and say hello. And we have tweeted out. Hooray! We have tweeted. Huzzah, huzzah. Tweeting has been tweeted. No one's currently hosting me, but that's fine. Hello to the person who has joined us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just getting everything set up, and then we're just going to hop in and play a little bit. Might as well play a little bit of... Um, a little bit of Pyromancer as we're starting off with Pyromancer. Uh, there were a lot more skulls here than I remember. Hey, Greg. Welcome to the stream. There were a lot more skulls here than I remember. Uh, what happened with all the skulls, dude? Oh, this is part of Oak Cree's challenge, I presume. So, daily challenges. Retrieve three grimoires, complete two levels as Carillion, slay 25 elite enemies as a party, and event. Complete ten quick play missions. That's not too bad. And this gets us Emperor's Chests. Nice. Hey, Ronnie Wilcombe. Welcome to the stream. Okay, that's... And then we've got challenges. Um... Complete Act 1. Ooh, cool. Wow, they've added a lot of rewards to this. We get a commendation chest for that. Nice. And we completed Act 3, so we get a commendation chest for that. Ooh, I like this update. This is a nice update. Get lots of free chests. And any other updates? Any other free stuff that we've got? That one gives us a Emperor's Vault. Wow. And hero challenges, we've apparently completed some. Unlock your first talent point. Yay. Not a problem. And then we've got unlock... Complete a level as every hero. Yep. So yeah, they've added a nice little kind of bonus system. I like this. Hey, Rayox Gaming. Welcome to the stream. So what have we got? We've got reach level 30 with all the characters. Complete all Helmgart levels with all careers on recruit. Okay. And then we've got craft an item, craft 50 items, salvage an item, salvage 100 items. Okay. So let's, um, as it wants us to complete two games as Carillion, let's swap out to Carillion straight away. Uh, let's do our Carillion Waystalker, as she is the one we like to play. And then I'll just do some quick plays. Um, I haven't played for a while, so I'm going to jump in on Recruit just to get my eye back into the game. A little bit overpowered for Recruit, but that doesn't matter. How are your Saturdays going, my friends? How are your Saturdays going, and what are you up to on your Saturdays? Got a bunch of low-level guys. I'm assuming they're reasonably experienced. Uh, dude. The image in the right corner, that is Slime Droid. Okay, you're just being, being a douchebag now. Slime 
So they kick me. Why exactly did they kick me? Hey, Patrol Gaming, it's Sunday where you are. Seriously? Oh, I suppose it's Sunday morning in Australia, isn't it? Playing games and watching vids. Awesome, sounds good to me. How are you doing, Patrol? Slime Droid. Hey, did Army, your stream name saves Stellar. Does it? It shouldn't. I updated it. God damn it. Update. There. A refresh, that should be fine. Seriously, why is why is that guy just kicking me? I like put yourselves in a private game if you don't want people to join. Like if you don't want people to join your game, put yourself in a private game. Ah, I can't play Carillion. Okay, um Let's play a Pyromancer then. What happens in the future? Yeah, this is one of the things that really frustrates people is that um, Australia doesn't warn us about like disasters before they happen because Australia is obviously, you know, it's tomorrow in Australia. So they know, they know exactly what's going to happen. Oh, wow. Hello, Prophet. You are an extremely high level uh, player. Also, if you were in Australia and you were, like, if it's tomorrow in Australia, so everything that's happened today has already happened for Australians. Surely you'd, like, look on the news to find out what the winning lottery numbers were and then buy a ticket via a proxy in England. You're watching the video of the beginning of the Politic playthrough. Awesome, Hated. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the Politics. Gonna be a pretty simple mission, we've got a high level level 30. Oop. Wow, that was a very good jump by her. It's great here, the lot of numbers are 1, 34, 40, oops, no. the server you are connecting to is no longer available. <laughs> Construction complete. Yep, yeah, there is a lot of construction complete. <gasps> no, not the poison cake. I should make that a command which gives a random result. I should make that a command that gives either a poison cake or a good cake. Pretty sure I can do that. No, no loot dice. Worth a go though. Not much, Greg. Some old crappers yesterday. Ah, I see. Like the art style, this is a very nice art style. It's definitely Warhammer Forty Thousand. Like the the they've nailed the Warhammer and Warhammer Forty Thousand aesthetic. Very much so. I thought she was playing. Ah, oh, she must have a, a cosmetic on. I thought she was playing the other Carillion, but obviously she's not. She's playing the. 
He fell down a hole. Uh, Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2? I'm not quite sure what your point is there, but... Doesn't look like Team Fortress 2 to me in the slightest. Team Fortress 2. Um, yeah, Team Fortress 2 is okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with Team Fortress 2. Have you played any raft yet? I haven't been able to afford raft at the moment, um, patrol. So I haven't bought raft yet. We're waiting for someone to fetch a book for us, which would be nice. I don't know where the books are again, I've not played this for a while, so... Enter the Gungeon. I've played Enter the Gungeon, Greg. I like Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon's really good, I agree. I'm terrible at it, but Enter the Gungeon is pretty good, yeah. This level 3 person who's literally just run off ahead by themselves, that that's what happens when you run off ahead by yourself in this game. Yeah, he's just kind of running off and hacking the way at things by himself. Which is a level 3 character really should not be doing. My character is very, very good at taking out the specials. I have the beam, and if I right-click while holding the beam, then I do a burst of damage. Hey, Ofo, welcome to the stream. How you doing, Ofo? For those of you who don't know the lore of the Warhammer 40 th or Warhammer universe, uh, this is during the end of times, which is when the Skaven burst up out of the ground and there were hundreds of thousands of Skaven. Do you use Steam for your games, Droid? I often use Steam for my games patrol, yeah. Steam is one of my most common ones, but I will get games from pretty much anywhere depending on price. Like, if you know, if like good old games has got it on a good price, let me know and I will see if I can... Uh, see if I can roll it out. The person I care for has um, some stuff on Thursday, so there won't be any stream on Thursdays because the person I care for has things that need to get done, um, medical-wise and uh, sort of admin-wise for the fact that she is a disabled person.
Good saw you purple on Discord. How are you, man? I'm pretty good, dude. I'm pretty good. Um, I managed to record an episode of the Minecraft series this morning. And half of another episode, which I'm going to have to remember that I've half recorded an episode. We're going with very high level characters, this is very, very easy. Ammo for my uh, magical staff. No, no, I don't need my, I don't need any ammunition. Um, yeah, I've done quite, I actually did quite well. Like in the first episode, I managed to burn through the entire of the forestry quest chain in one go. Talking to your burb, yay! Is she a cute burb? I must, I must assume she's a cute burb. Otherwise, you know, Ofo would not accept the burb. All hail Mazda Mundi. More of an all hail Nurgle situation, really. But I'm very good at holding the line like this. He's the cutest burb. Yay! Mega burb cute. Much cute burb. Very wow. Ah, I see. Oh, there. Oh, I see. I think you do a great job, Joyd. Enjoy your streams. I sent you a gift in Steam. Dude, you do not have to send me things. I've told you this before. Thank you very much. It is very nice of you to say so, that I do a nice job. And it's very nice that you enjoy the streams and very nice that you pop up and uh, pop on to the streams now and again. But seriously, you don't have to, you don't have to donate things. Where is the grimoire? Where is the grimoire? Going. Aha! Grimoire! Huzzah! Now I just have to figure out the way out. Ah, the way out is through here. Is the way out through here? Then ladder up. Ah, ladder up, ladder up, ladder up, ladder up. Ladder up. Aha! I see. So this is a grimoire I never knew how to get. Do like stream gift cards? Cough, cough. <laughs> Dude, it's quite simple. Um, I all like... By the way, guys, Patrol Gaming um, is an amazing stream. Patrol Gaming is actually the guy that basically kind of got me into Subnautica. I saw Patrol Gaming playing Subnautica. I think that's the way around it went. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw Patrol Gaming playing Subnautica. And I was like, that looks awesome. And Patrol Gaming did such a good job of making Subnautica look awesome that I went out and spent uh, basically the spare money I had for that month on Subnautica. I was like, yep, having that. Um, very entertaining streamer and a wonderful Australian accent. Of course, he's Australian, so he's not British, which means, you know, Britain better, but still. Oh, hello. What's your Steam profile so I can friend you? Uh, TLD TGD. Lol, 
Well, Aussie versus Brit. Yeah, me and uh, me and Patrol did a um, me and Patrol did a who is better at Slime Rancher, and Patrol led me on terribly and uh, absolutely destroyed me at Slime Rancher. I love Subnautica. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Aussie, oi. Aussie, oi. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. I think that's how it goes. Yeah, you led me on terribly. You made me think. You made me think you were bad at Slime Ranch. You said you enjoyed it and like you were bad at it and this, that, and the other. And uh, and then he's like ten thousand gold ahead of me. He's like, you sod. <laughs> and absolutely stomped me on Slime Rancher. Abril, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing, Abs? There was some intense training beforehand. Question is, where is everybody? I know several American songs. Don't want to be an American idiot. Actually, that's by, that's a Canadian song, but still. Might as well set the beginner free, or set the bot free. Set the bot free. So we've got the Nurgle Infection to deal with. The way we do this is we go into each of the three areas and we pop the uh, Nurgle pustules. Because Nurgle, Nurgle is the god of corruption and poison. Corruption, poison and disease. And uh, what we have to do is we have to purify the corruption by sort of destroying the pustules. Although pustules spread disease bit sticky so I'm gonna nap enjoy your time okie dokie ofo I know it's very hot where you are so bye have a good one dude hey guys uh, you snuck up behind me Uh, I'm a make a Stellaris Empire called Australia and the species will be the closest thing I can find to a kangaroo. <laughs> Gatling rat down. I don't like it when Gatling rats, rats get the kind of command of the corner on you. Okie dokie, dude. Um, once I finish this mission, I'll like actually tell you my, my proper Steam name. I think it's TLD slash TGD. I'm like 90% sure that's my Steam name, but... Where's the gunner? They said there was a gunner around here somewhere, and I don't know where the gunner is. Ah, Gregor! There we go. Gregor has sent you an invite on Steam.
God damn it, there's enemies everywhere. <laughs> that was bad, that was. Hey, Jairath, welcome to the stream. So many enemies right at the end here. How are you doing today, Jareth? That was my first death then. God damn it. That was my first death of that mission. I mean, I'm surprised we died as many times as we did. I mean, we had a level 3 with us, but... That wasn't terrible. Thank you very much, Patrol, though. You are an absolute angel for being awesome at things. Patrol is patrol is my pimp daddy. That's 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 what patrol did, patrol is. Patrol is my pimp daddy. And as well as an awesome gift from patrol. Thank you very much, dude. I also have a friend request from Mr. Greg. We got the quick play bonus. We got the tomes, which is going to get us through up to. Um. Soldier, Ranout's gift might get us up higher. Captain? General, general chest. Yeah, we didn't manage to get up to an Emperor chest. If we'd managed to get the last tome, we would have. Because we got a very good Ranout's gift. But that wasn't bad at all. That wasn't bad at all. Just look at that. Level 30 maxed out person. Thanks, dude. Uh, you're more than welcome to join me on Vermintide if you have Vermintide and want to play. Like, pretty much anyone's welcome to join me. By the way, a uh, quick run-through of the people who are hosting me. Thank you very much to Elf Daughter. Thank you very much to Vagabond. Thank you very much to Portalmaster, Empolo, and the Learning Droid, who is me. Um, if you would like to share me out on Twitter, that is much appreciated as well. And yes, I'm shamelessly, shamelessly self-promoting at the moment. Ah, that wasn't an intense mission, dude. That wasn't an intense mission at all. But if you guys would like to share me out on Twitter, then... That's the tweet. Hey, Versa Effect, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Vagabond is still alive? Yeah, Vagabond is still alive. I've, I've seen Vagabond. I've even talked with Vagabond. He popped in on one of my streams. He's been very busy as of late. So, uh... We don't blame poor Vagabond for not uh, turning up. But yes, welcome, Versa Effects. I don't know if I've seen you before. Uh, yeah, let's go for the recruit again. I'm still trying to get my eye back in. And I do need to do two Karelian missions for the daily quests. She might as well. This update that's added daily quests, uh, weekly quests, and then just achievement rewards. I mean, those the things they've got in the uh, deeds thing, they are just achievement rewards. Um... That's all they are. They're, they're rewards for completing certain achievements. Um, but it's nice that they've now added rewards for those achievements. That dwarf is slightly glitchy.
Full on flamethrower mode, which is nice. Flamethrower is a good anti group uh, weapon. Right now, Fort Braxton Water is about the only thing stopping the enemy rampaging far and wide. But it's under siege and about to fall. I need you to do whatever you can to keep the Bastion in Imperial hands. So we're going after the Bastion because the Bastion needs to be in Imperial hands. Um, just going to tweak up the mic or the desktop audio. So yeah, we're going after defending the forts. Hey, exam stress. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing, exam? You should be sleeping. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay, Exam. Um, if you're tired, uh, then you should really just kind of chill and relax and have a snooze. Sometimes it can be hard, though, especially when it's this hot. I'm pretty good, I'm pretty good. I've been having an okay day. Been having an okay little sign of set of records and things. We're a pretty effective little team, actually. We've got people who know what they're doing. We've got someone who already just killed off the sorcerer using flame ball. It's 2.40 on a Saturday and I'm finishing up my reports. Ah, I see. Well, once your reports are finished, then... Find somewhere cool. Like, one of the weird things is if you have, like, a soft blanket or something, take it into the kitchen and just kind of lie on the kitchen because it tends to be really, like, nice and cool in the kitchen. Uh. 2.40 on a Sunday now. 2.40 on a Sunday. 2.40 a.m. on a Sunday. 2.40 in the morning on a Sunday. Wow, yeah, you should definitely be in bed. Kitchens are cool. Kitchens are cold. Kitchens should be cold. It's really, really way too hot at the moment. Cold kitchens are good. Because at the moment, the heat, at least in the UK, the heat level is just, like... The heat level is too damn high! Are you related to muck? Not as far as I know. It's freezing in Australia where I am. Of course, it's um, winter in Australia, isn't it? Uh, my connection's fine, so I'm assuming our host has... I'm assuming our host has had a problem there, not me. Because my connection to YouTube is fine. Uh, it depends what he means, Greg. 20 degrees Fahrenheit would not be summer for us. If he means Fahrenheit. 20 degrees centigrade, yeah. 20 degrees Fahrenheit, no. There are pets sworn everywhere right now, and if it wasn't for Fort Braxenbrugger, they'd be even farther afield. I'd suggest you get out there and make sure Fort Braxenbrugger are part of all the Chances are the rat men love it, but they just can't be choosers. No, I'm pretty sure he means Fahrenheit, dude. Pretty sure not even an Australian person would be complaining about it being cold at 20 degrees centigrade. And... You're suddenly babysitting drunks. Oh, God. It's always fun when the drunk people turn up and they need to be looked after because they're an idiot. And Zeox left as well. And Kolak left. Okay. Uh, 
So I'll do this mission by myself then, because everyone else has buggered off. Because I'm assuming... Um, that's what you guys call Celsius. Yeah, tw 20 degrees is, is freezing, yes. Not 20 degrees Celsius, wait, what? It's 20 degrees Celsius and you're complaining about it being cold. Why do I not believe you? 20 degrees Celsius is not cold. Like, human body temperature is 98 degrees, is 98 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 36.8 degrees centigrade, right? If you're cold when the external temperature is two-thirds of your body temperature, there's something dodgy going on. Hey, Carl Smith, welcome to the stream. How you doing, Carl? Luckily, the bots in this game are reasonably um, effective. Come on, open the door. We're usually 35 or so. So literally, your bodies just have no ability to heat themselves. Um, has the game literally just bugged out and isn't opening the door now? Hey, Baka! Left to Warhammer. Woohoo! Yeah, left to Warhammer. I see, I see, yeah, I see what you mean. So this is a um, recruit level mission. It's pretty easy. By the way, I looked at where Vault 76 is and it should be in the Capital Waste. That should put it near Fallout 3. Yes, it should, but... Um, and actually, uh, if you played through uh, the downloadable content of Fallout 3, you'd know that it was in the Capital Waste. Because in the downloadable content of Fallout 3, the Brotherhood of Steel one, Broken Steel... Um, In the, in the Warhammer games, they always use Scottish accents in the Warhammer games because um, part of Warhammer... Well, Europe, Warhammer is based upon Europe. The map of Warhammer is based upon Europe. And the dwarves come from where Scotland is. So the dwarves have Scottish accents. Um, in general, why do they always use um, Scottish accents in war in uh, medieval games? Because the Scottish brogue is quite a famous kind of medieval thing. But yeah, in Broken Steel Fallout 3, uh, if you looked at one of the computer screens, uh, one of the computer screens actually had a um, thing on it saying that uh, Vault 76 existed and saying that Vault 76 was open. Looks like it's going to be one of the early opening vaults and it means we're going to be playing in the sort of early post-apocalypse. There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, Luke is the killer. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Luke, your rabbit died on... Um, your rabbit died on the... Uh, game we were playing. I don't like it when there's a leech around and a horde. Those guys can deal with the leech. I'm going to deal with the horde. Because I'm a freaking high level elf. And you cannot stop a high level elf. Is 
Especially on recruit mode. Yeah, a wolf got into your pen and uh, ate you. Especially because I have the ability that allows me to heal while I'm hitting enemies. So as long as I'm hitting enemies, I'm healing slowly, which uh, makes me great against hordes. Yeah, Luke the rabbit was uh, kind of eaten by a wolf. Hey, Storm Fiend. Well-timed block there. And another well-timed block. I also have um, arrow regen. Ah, I mistimed my block. There we go. Down they went. What's centigrade? Uh, okay, so Fahrenheit and centigrade are two different uh, gradiating methods of temperature. Um, Fahrenheit was the kind of thermometer temperature grade scale created by um, uh, Zelas, Zelas Farren. Um, and centigrade was based upon the divisions of the centi, the divisions of 100. So a centigrade is... Um, Basically, the, there is a calculation to do it between centigrade and Fahrenheit, of course, but the calculation is uh, 3 eighths plus 32. So it's a little bit of a complicated uh, division. But basically, in centigrade, water freezes at zero and water boils at 100. Give or take the fact that water has triple points and things like that, but water boils at 100 and freezes at zero. So 50 is halfway between boiling and freezing water. And it's been adopted by most metric countries, just because it's easier. Is centigrade just Celsius? Um, yes. Basically. Uh, there's a slight difference between centigrade and Celsius, but for the for func functionally they're the same. From a scientific standpoint, there's a slight difference. But that just comes to do with basically when. Are you a slime in a robot suit? Possibly. That is one of the theories that has been presented. That is one of the theories that has been presented is that droid is a slime in a robot suit. Now there's no guarantee that that's true. But it might be. Uh, Kelvin. Kelvin temperature system is based on absolute zero. Although Kelvin temperature system isn't technically based on absolute zero, Kelvin temperature zeroes out at absolute zero. Kelvin temperature is actually based on the amount of energy required to heat up a litre of water. I like to call it the Vex theory. <laughs> I see. I thought I lost a slime somewhere. Shh, patrol. Shush. I am not one of the puddle slimes off your ranch. Why do you think patrol keeps paying me? Because I give him those wonderful, wonderful plots. Me, me, me and patrol have an agreement where I get a certain percentage of the money that he earns off uh, selling my plots.
Where are they coming from? That is the question. To the cliff edge. Hold the cliff edge. Droid is actually space milk. Possibly. It's been a tough year. Yeah, it has. I think everyone's been struggling. Um, to be honest, I think everyone's been struggling. Although I do know several people who recently got new jobs. Yay! Yay for jobs. So now, this is actually quite a fun bit of this mission, and quite a challenging bit of this mission as well. Um, we have to... Uh, we have to gather um, cannonballs and fire cannonballs at the enemy. Uh, not castle, but the enemy walls. To try and deal with them. Now first we have to deal with this lot. Port market is plummeting. Exactly. I'm going to play, play some games now. Bye. Thank you very much for popping in, dude. Much appreciated. So we need to fire the cannon. Ah, we're taking out, of course, we're taking out the artillery. And because I'm the only player, I've got to uh, line up the cannon myself. And there we go. Uh, fire the cannon. Hang it. There we go. Hey, Peter, welcome to the stream. The setting is called Warhammer End Times. Yep, this is the Warhammer End Times setting. Uh, just after the... Well, quite a while for this game. After the emergence of the Skaven as a race. Oh, we need a cannonball. Cannonball... Cannonball up on there, so we need to get up round to there. How are we going to get up there? That's the question. Up this way? Yep, up this way. But yeah, the Skaven are quite an interesting little race. Basically, they've spent a long time living underground. And aren't particularly sort of dangerous to... The rats mess thing up. Yeah, the rats mess stuff up a lot. Um, and they're not really... The rats themselves aren't particularly dangerous. It's the fact that there's so many of them and they breed so quickly. Come on. Cut through, please. Thank you. Good little bots. Good little bots. And we need to... Ooh. That's poison. I'm going to have to wait for the poison to disperse because the poison's kind of stopping me from getting up there. Ow. Ow. Jump over the poison. Cannonball. Very similar to the 40k orcs. Yeah, very similar to orcs in general. Less so orcs in Warhammer Original, but very similar to orcs in general. Like orcs, orcs and goblins have always been the kind of fast breeding horrors. Um... 
It's interesting that Warhammer actually decided not to make orcs the kind of fast breeding horrors. Ow! Assassin rat jumped on me. That wasn't fun. And this is the end of this mission. In 40k they are fast breeding horrors. Yeah, in 40k they do take the role of kind of like... Um, although, to be honest, like... They are fast breeding horrors in 40k, but I think the 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 Skaven are replaced more by the Tyranids. The Skaven do fill that kind of horrific role of kind of the alien unknown horror. Didn't get much at all. We're going to get a very bad level chest, but that's fine. Managed to get it up to a merchant chest. Okie dokie patrol, thank you very much for popping into the stream. I'll see if I can jump in and uh, give you a little bit of support later on. I've been watching your streams on and off, dude, and you do great work. Patrol does great work, guys. You should go and subscribe to Patrol. Patrol does better streams than me. Go sleep, dude. It's like 3am, 4am now. Go to bed. So how has that affected the dailies? So yeah, we need to get uh, two grimoires. Uh, sorry, we need to get one more grimoire and we need to do one more level as um, Carillion. Okay. That's fine. Let's ramp it up to a, a veteran level. Getting some cola. Yay, cola. Cola, 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 cola. Cutting off a rat's head. Um, I don't know. Tomorrow, um, I might do some subnautica. Play next today? I'm not sure. Flop. Flop. I mean, I know why people like or why Karelian is often one of the players that is least easy to actually get hold of. Like, a lot of people like playing Karelian. I'm definitely a Karelian main myself. Just because the weapon array you get at the beginning is so highly effective. I mean, even on veteran difficulty, like, my bow just cuts through things so easily. I have a decent level bow, though, so... Just wipe out as many rats as we can. That keeps my HP at full. That's one of the reasons why, as well, that Carillion makes a great... Like, lots of people play her as a backline archer, but she makes a great frontline warrior because she has the ability to heal off killing. 
which means that, like in this sort of situation where we are getting surrounded, like as long as I'm still swinging my swords and hitting things, I'm gaining HP the whole time. That white bit at the end of my HP bar is basically imaginary HP um, that I'm gaining. It's not real HP, it's, it's temporary HP. But it is decent, uh, decent enough to actually absorb H, like abs absorb hits. Yeah, it's kind of like a temporary shield. It, they, they call it temporary HP, but it, it's kind of like a temporary shield. And it means in those kind of horde situations, I can just absorb attack after attack after attack. Yep. Yeah. Skills like that do make for great tanks. There should be ammo down here, which I need. Ammo. Thank you. Fall off at higher levels. It's true, at the high levels of this game, um, the HP doesn't mean much. At the high levels of this game, you have to be able to time your blocks. Like, it's one of the biggest differences between Recruit and Veteran, is uh, when you play Recruit mode, you can get away with literally um, never blocking. Like, you don't have to block in Recruit mode at all. But once you get up to uh, veteran mode, yeah, you, you have to block. And once you get up to champion mode, um, enemies actually, or your arrows actually hit your allies. So doing this is a bad idea because you can actually shoot your own allies in the back. We've kind of got it like jammed just doing the same attack over and over again. Ah, well, got some ammo from that. Kind of need to heal. I love just the individual rats they have just dotted about. Now, what this does is this opens up um, this map here, or that part of the map. But uh, if you run back, you can actually go and uh, go and get a grimoire, which we're going to do. And we had a hook rat and a gunner. I am definitely not going to survive that. The gunner's literally just point blank shredded me. That was a little bit unfair to have a hook rat and a gunner, but. Uh But now if we go down here where I got my ammo from before, you'll note that uh, we can actually get down here now. And if we go down here, we can get Le Grimoire. I love burning dudes. Uh, the Pyromancer has a nice collection of uh, skills and abilities. Uh, I got healed by an NPC as well, like one of the bots just dropped a healing potion on me. It's interesting that they often equip enemies with spears, and actually spears are pretty effective against most of the weapons you have as a player. I'm surprised you don't have a million subs. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying the video enough to think that I should get more subs. By the way, hello Jobo Video, welcome to the stream. Going to take out the shield, guys. Run through the water. 
We've got a health potion here and some ammo. I'll grab those. Not going to give them to the bots because there's no point. Now we're going to go into a situation where we're probably going to have another summon of one of the giant ones. Probably another rat ogre, but you can end up coming up against um, other beasties as well, like the storm vermin and the chaos spawn. Or dwarves, because I like the Warhammer dwarves. They're just funny with their grudges. Yeah, the dwarves are pretty good. Um, I don't like the dwarf starting weapon, because it's so slow swinging. Ooh. Ooh, that is a... Um, that's a reward rat, uh, if I can actually catch up with it. Yeah, the reward rat got away. Oh no, there's the reward rat. Come back here, reward rat. And it literally dropped a potion. God damn you. I was hoping it would drop loot die, but it didn't. It dropped a potion. I mean, not the end of the world, but kind of pointless. This game has a little bit of kind of like an AI director as well, very much like the Left 4 Dead games. Pretty simple mission this time around, nothing particularly difficult. Just kind of progress through the mission. There's the little sneaky thing with the hidden grimoire, but a lot of grimoires in the later levels are hidden quite well. I think you should get bonus HP or bonus sort of reward for double killing. In fact, there are classes that do get bonus rewards for multi-kills. If you kill... Or if you hit three people with a single swing, um, when you're playing as one of the classes, it gives you a uh, upgrade bonus. Let's be real here, it's basically Left 4 Dead game with more melee focus. That's actually exactly what I, uh, how I explained it to someone. Uh, someone was asking me what it was like, uh, one of my friends was asking me what it was like, and I said it's Left 4 Dead with more melee. Um, and uh, they enjoyed that, because they enjoy Left 4 Dead. And we actually had a person join, or try to join. I'm not sure if they actually succeeded in joining, but we had Arosh try and join. Oh yeah, the bot is leaving. Ah, aha! Gas rat's gone down. We traded a dwarf for a dwarf, although it's a slightly better dwarf. Ow. If I developed a game in PvP teams, is really, if a team is doing really bad, they can try and summon a god, and they have a percentage summon someone who works in the company who is willing playing an OP character. Uh, you would need to basically pay people to be playing the game all the time for that to actually be, you know, functional. Ow. Well, this is getting hectic. Where'd the poison guy go? Where'd the flame guy go? Ah, he's over there. I mean, it's not impossible, but... This is the thing, is that um, a lot of people did have a problem with left, just Left 4 Dead's melee system in general. Um, and this one, because this game is so focused on melee, because it's a medieval-based game, 
Um, There we go. Even the large ones. That wasn't too bad. Definitely felt better. Can you keep going, Oh. Got another random possibly joining. Oh no, Rav left the game immediately. More primitive healing supplies. Not sure why, but Iron Drake things, yeah. Uh, it's one of the items you can pick up as the door you can get as the dwarf is one of the um, flamethrower Iron Drake things. The elves have an assortment of different kinds of bows they can pick up. Um, and the men, of course, have different guns they can pick up. It'd be interesting if they did a kind of version of this game from the other perspective. So from, like, the rat's perspective, where you could play, like, four different kinds of rat. Um, actually, yeah, like, being able to play the, the unique rats on the, horn mo on the horde mode. That'd actually be quite interesting. And that's the problem with the dra the fire drake thing, the iron drake. I hate it because it basically blinds your teammates. It basically blinds your teammates and makes it impossible for them to see. Yeah, like the Left 4 Dead PvP mode. But even just doing it against uh, computers would be interesting. The flame from the Iron Drake, the flame from the flamethrower just blinds your teammates in the middle of a fight and makes it impossible for them to actually... Because there's, although it just looks like random flailing, there's actually a surprisingly large amount of tactics to, um, to getting the creature or getting the um, combat done without hurting yourself, to minimizing the amount of damage you take in combat. And when you're blind, it's really very hard to avoid a lot of the hits. Because you, you've got a surprising amount of like ability to avoid stuff. Dying Light did a thing where you played the zombies. Yeah, uh, Left 4 Dead did too. I mean, it's basically the uh, a first-person version of Dungeon Keeper. Where you're playing the, the horde of enemies versus heroes. Which is what Dungeon Keeper's shtick was.
the Spine Mangler layer. So this is one of the later missions, which is why it's quite long, and the storyline behind this mission is we're trying to get into the Skitter Gate. Um, Evolve did do it, yeah. Not what I think of when you, when you say Video Game Evolve. Evolve was also the name of a video game from a long, long time ago. Um, there was a very, very good game, or no, very, very mediocre game called Evolve, but it was one of the first games that had kind of uh, branching pathways. Kill Spine Mangler. Come on then. Dying Light was fun because, as the zombie, you had a tentacle thing you could swing around like Spider-Man. Hmm. I never got to enjoy it. You can still enjoy the old Dungeon Keeper games. Like, the old games are still good. got taken down. I had specials on me. Ooh, two loot die. Nice. That's Spine Mangler down and now we just have to get out of here. So our job was to take out Spine Mangler so that the um, different groups of rats would start fighting with each other. And we managed to get a Grimoire, which is nice. Uh, huh. Excellent. We're all here. Good. I just wonder if we're going to have a little disaster before we leave. I don't think I've ever gotten to this point on this mission. I think this is my first time getting this far in this mission. I also joined into quick play missions right at the very end. Like, I've joined into missions at this point. And it's like, yay! Free loot. Free loot, no XP, though. <laughs> right yay! We completed Act 2. Nice. Into the nest. So now the only ga the only mission I haven't done uh, is the very final mission, which is the um, Skittergate Destruction mission. Nice. That's really good. That's really cool. And that will complete another mission because completing Act 2 is one of the achievements, and the achievements now give rewards. Pity we didn't get the tomes, though. If we'd managed to get all three tomes as well as the two loot die, this would have been a very good chest. Although, we managed to get a soldier's chest out of it, so I ain't going to complain about that. a soldier grade coffer. Nice. Th 
3k damage done though. That's pretty good. So I think we've been streaming for an hour and a half. I think I'm probably going to call it there. We've got a, a, a small stream going on at the moment, very small stream, um, but I, it's extremely hot and I need to go and get uh, something to drink. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, this has been a couple of missions of Vermintide. Shall we do a um, shall we do a loot open? Shall we open some loot first before we leave? Let's open a bit of loot and see if we got anything cool. We've got a soldier's coffer. Thank you very much for popping into the stream, Jobo. Much appreciated. Ooh, a 134 blue, a 133 green, and a 142 blue. Nice. These two don't will, won't provide us with anything great. Let's open a one commendation chest as we manage to get a few bonus ones. A 135 blue, a 143, and a 133. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I have been the Gaming Droid. This has been Warhammer Vermintide, and I will see you all in another stream. Bye, -bye everybody.